What's up, everybody? It's Jones, or your favorite comic book guy. And we've got my favorite sidekick, Lyric. He's here today, popping up just like he does in the intro video. That was awesome. We got to get you a bat grapple claw, huh? Yeah. That'd be cool. You'd be swinging all over the house like a monkey. All right, what are we doing today, Lyric? Uh, that's the verse Skeletor from the new Netflix Masters of the Universe Revelation cartoon. So we're gonna dig into Skeletor so He-Man's got somebody to fight. Let's do it! Yes! What's up, everybody? It's Jones, or your favorite comic book guy. So let's do this. All right. Well, here we are. We've got our new figure. So let's waste no time, buddy. Let's just get right into them, huh? This seat is like killing me. It's killing you. You're the one who got the cushion. Man, he steals my cushion. And then he tells me the seat's killing me. And then he says he needs to sit higher. Whose show is this anyway? It's my show? Because I feel like you're taking over my mm -hmm. show. Are you going to take my show from me? No. Yeah, I feel like he is. I feel like he already did. <laughs> anyway, we're on the front of this box. Looks pretty cool. We got Skeletor here at the box. What's he got in there with him, buddy? Uh... Like a staff from the revolution. It was like white and stuff in the revolution. Was it white? Yeah. Hmm, we'll have to look at that. That was the shaping staff from the filmation cartoon. Yeah. What else has he got? Editor, can you put that up like on the screen? I think we will put that up on the screen. You're so smart. I know. And it came with his regular staff too. He came with his regular staff and a couple extra hands, but... I don't see a sword in there. That kind of bothers me. I mean, you always had a sword before, but... Oh, bum baskets, right? Oh, bum baskets. What's that? It's like a thing from, like, Ed's World. Huh? I don't even know what that is, but he's cooler than me for sure. All right, on the top of this box, it says the 30 points of articulation. It says the Masterverse. It's got a bunch of crazy symbols on here, which we haven't really looked at too close. And Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction. That's on the side here. And look, it's ages six plus. How old are you? Eight. Oh, well, I guess you get to play with it then, huh? Yeah. All right, well, we go to the side here, and what's we got here? An uh, awesome picture of Skeletor. Yeah, he's looking pretty cool, doesn't he? Well, we'll go to the back, and we got an even awesomer picture of Skeletor. And then what do we got on the bottom there? Oh, wait, go back to the other picture. Who's, who's that in the air? Oh, it looks like we got some kind of gargoyle up there. That looks pretty cool. We're up there by the moon. Good eye, buddy. I know. Well, then what do we got here on the bottom? Oh, I see Stink Mountain. Oh, you do. Man, you are all over this. <laughs> all right. What's on the bottom here? Uh, He-Man, Most Man, Skeletor, and Evil Link. And how Which many we, of the... Oh, I was going to say, go ahead. Which we do have. We got them all. What else do we have? Uh, Battle Cat. And what else do we have? You're going to have to see because it's going to be a little secret. Oh, we're going to make him a surprise. Okay. Well, I'm going to do like I did in the other video. We're going to read this bio in the most dramatic voice possible. How Are about, you ready for this? How about a Skeletor voice? Skeletor voice? That'll be hard. I'm going to use my dramatic speaking voice. How about like a Orco voice? Orco voice? I don't even know if I can do an Orco voice. Was that any good? No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Skeletor, evil lord of destruction. For ages, Skeletor ravaged the land and terrorized the people of Eternia in his quest to capture all the power in the universe for himself. Now the nefarious scourge of Eternia plots his final hostile takeover of Castle Grayskull. With dark magic, devious technology, and an army of loyal soldiers at his back, this sinister sorcerer believes this time nothing can stop him. Not even 
He-Man. How did I do? Good. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Should we open them? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Okay, we got them out of the box here. And then the first thing we tried to do is stick the classic staff into that hand. And it was very hard to fit in there. And then Lyric and I realized, I think that hand's meant for the shaping staff. I'm not really sure if you can get that classic staff in there or not, which is a shame as, you know, it'd be nice to be able to put that in either hand if you wanted to, but I'm not sure if you can. Um, it definitely fit into this hand, which is cool. So he could have it on his left hand, but not his right hand, or no, it's his right hand, but not his left hand. And then we've got this open hand. I'm not really sure what this one's for, maybe to uh, cast a spell or to smack He-Man in the face, or I'm not really sure what that's all about. Maybe to cast a spell, we're not really sure. But one thing I wanted to show off here is if you look at his face, I mean, this Skeletor sculpt is just super cool. He just looks awesome. He's got that cloth cape, and I'm pretty impressed with him here. So let's compare him. Um, actually, first off, I think we'll try some different poses with him. Well, we got him switched around with the other hand, and definitely that other hand is made for the staff, but I've already got a complaint or something that I'm not very happy with with this figure right away. This new staff is so heavy, like if you try to put him in some kind of pose, it just, I mean, look at this. It won't stay where you want it to stay. It'll just whoop. Woo -woo, like a windshield wiper. So that's kind of disappointing. I don't really care much for that business at all. So it can stay there on the ground, but if he's going to try to like point it in some magical way, you know, I don't know, maybe it'll work, but see, kind of, kind of annoying. All right, we've got our Masterverse Skeletor with our Vintage Skeletor over here and our Origin Skeletor over here. And uh, one thing that stands out like right away is that uh, Masterverse Skeletor does not have a sword. I mean, yeah, he's got this shaping staff thing, which had appeared in like one episode and maybe like five minutes of the new cartoon. But uh, honestly, I kind of lame. I mean... I want to see him sword fight with He-Man or, you know, I mean, he could use his magical staff, but then now that I can't really put the staff in any way I'd want, or at least not in every way I'd want, I don't know, you know, so eh, not really very impressed. Um, I expected kind of better. Um, I don't know. We'll see what kind of uh, poses we can get him in and what kind of battle we can do with He-Man here. And, uh yeah, so far, like, uh, he looks better, I think, than He-Man did. But as far as, like, what he comes with and what he's uh, like, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of left a little... He-Man I was more happy with when I got out of the box, and Skeletor I seem to be less happy with when I got out of the box. I mean, it would have been nice just to get, I don't know, a sword or another weapon or maybe... Uh, I, God, I don't even know. You know, like magical bolt or something he can shoot out of his hands. I, I guess I don't know what I'm looking for here. He <laughs> man, I've got the magical staff and my magical hand thing, and all you've got is a shield to block it and a sword to beat you with. Huh. That's right. He <laughs> he With this shaping staff, I could turn you into it. Not if I don't let you. Bam! E man, bam! Okay, there's He Man and Skeletor looking in their iconic forms and their iconic poses. Um, that's probably how I will display both of them. Uh, he Man invoking the power and Skeletor kind of standing there in the only way he really can stand there with the classic staff. Because honestly, if you try to move it in any other way, you know, it seems like he won't uh, hold it in the way you want. 
unless maybe if you use the other hand that can't seem to grip it to support it. That's an idea there that we might try here. So uh, I guess in conclusion um, with these two figures, He-Man I was less impressed with in the box and more impressed with when he came out. And Skeletor I was more impressed with in the box and less impressed with when he came out. Not exactly how I figured those two would go. Okay, we're back here, and uh, yeah, if you use this hand here to uh, balance the staff out, it won't spin around like a wild clock, which is nice. Um, these figures are really cool, like they got the shoulder spalders here, and the cape looks really nice, And but they seem to me like they're more designed for like being stored on the shelf. I mean, like, you could even put them back into their original box, and they look good like that. And uh, I think the Origins ones are really more the ones that are begging to be played with. I mean, this guy was moving around, his legs snapped, almost felt like I broke him. I had a little mini panic attack. They just seem so stiff and so awkward to pose that, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Anyway, you getting tired, bud? Yeah. Well, what's the next video we're gonna do? Battle Cat. This thing is so big, it might be a glare for, on, for you, no, it's okay, buddy. So, uh, that cat looks pretty cool. Are yeah. you going to be the one to put He-Man on that cat? Yeah, and it's pretty heavy, too. Well, we'll do Battle Cat for the Massiverse stuff next. So, Jones are out. Yeah.